Ooh, looks like something's buried here. It's a dildo. <laughs> Super Wolf to LTS Blow Loco. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Who the hell is he? Oh, he's up there. Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. All right, hey guys, and welcome to part two of Life is Strange. To episode 5 and last time kind of nothing really happened and we just found out that You're we're in like in a little trailer thing zone. with uh, the people that like Karen who's our mom used to hang with uh, before we kind of reunited. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. What? Getting closer. Soon this. Uh, this is really a building. It's oh! I guess this counts. Oh, wings. As in, like a. I don't know. A little map? Ahoy, <laughs> matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah! Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. It's not really wings, is it? It's like, whatever. And I know, what was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. Be Item is where the sun meets the earth. Where the sun meets the earth. No. Horizon. As cold as ever. You're way okay, out there. Turn this way. Dude. Just run around until he says closer. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Getting closer. Mm, closer, okay, good. In swap box? No. Warm. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in med spell. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Okay, Sun Meets the Earth. Can we get a new clue? Daniel, copy. Give me a clue. Come on. This is so easy. I've hidden the item in a place that loves the sun. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Plants like the sun. Solar panels! Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Oh, we could out. shit in it. That'd what? be funny. You can't do food coloring out here. You're warming up. Come on. There you go. So it's in the pile of cars, right? Found it. Nice. And it's a 
tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. So, I it should Captain, be around here. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. There you go. Just grab it! You're here! Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. It's a dildo. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but... Tacky gold, sure. It looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. This is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you asked for it. Can't wait to break that out at all the clubs. Age of Reason. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Ah, there we go. That's good. Um, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Where? I like the long shadows, that's cool. I hear a car. Who's he talking to? This is such a weird fucking place. Telling me. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. Hey. Hey, what's Love up? Love to see you survive hey. the night in the desert. Morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. What about heck, huh? The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. I'm just gonna get to like, know more of their backstories or not. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. Was well, cheating. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid. <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. We just went camping. Oh, Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. That scared option's kind of random. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so 
I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring, but what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> David? I'm divorced now. Is that David? But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. This is totally David. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. David, it is David! Better start my delivery now. Okay, that's fucking weird. He's, like, turned up. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> That was a random inclusion. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. So yeah, Chloe was like the best friend of the main character that you played as in the first one. Yeah, that's, that's weird and cool. Anytime now. Stanley, one pound of coffee beans, choco crisps, blah de blah. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Must pay better than poetry. Thanks for the last advice column. We got quite a response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights. Looking forward to your next piece. Okay. Desert Life Weekly, fucking hell. <sighs> Feels like a hundred degrees in that. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. A tribe called West. And seeing the good into it. Last time I saw my mother before this year, I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone. That, that I was done with the whole bullshit family. My real fam were the strangers I met on the road who became friends, not my family who became strangers. I adopted all the online connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You would be reading about them right now, except the next time I saw my mother, she was in hospice care at our Utah home. Her body light and frail as a web, holding my hand and telling me that she was sorry about everything that kept us apart for most of my adult life. My mum was dying of cancer and she was sorry. So I cried, she cried, my brother cried, we all cried. And all the years of family bullshit blew away to dust like that. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know it would be so easy or so hard. It didn't mean the past didn't happen or that I wasn't responsible in my own way. 
My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal because while I was out trying to save the world, he had to take care of mum and the family estate. Maybe he was right, but I told him that he also had the money to take care of them. God damn, if I was in charge of the finances, I would have given away the family estate and we'd be broke living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Society tells us to love your parents and siblings simply out of blood and chance. But what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? What if? It doesn't matter. I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere I roll. You tend to have those extremes at 3am at an empty gas station or on some desolate freeway. Yes, I've seen strong families bond in hard times. I know that there are big siblings who will always be there to care for little siblings and vice versa. They help me to understand our fragile filial ecosystem. In her last hours, my brother and I held my mum's thin fingers as she passed on to a place, I hope, is better than the one she came from. After she was gone, I found a stash of some old school essays and stories. The only thing I was good at in school. I never knew she kept this stuff around or that she even cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. The first time tears had burned my eyes in a long time. It felt good. So now I've come back to a home I once vowed to never return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with and more responsibility than I actually want. But I have to see this as karma or destiny or the dharma of the privileged. Don't panic, but I may be taking a break from my life on wheels just to see who or what I can help. Now I have more resources to spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve, insert sarcasm, if we're still talking after all this memorial bonding. Okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. And speaking of hope, given the sad state of this sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move outside my comfort zone. Send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with. Places I can explore to tell new stories from. Like Canada, or Mexico, or This Road Never Ends. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. So Lila just putting up... stuff. Okay, pretty... Boring. Fucking trailer. 105 degrees out here. <sighs> Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Chupacabras from outer space. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. Wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. I lube, that's sexy. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. I wonder if that's another letter from Cassidy, so if it's the same one we had last time. Again. That we got in the hospital. And a real bed. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. Okay, yeah, this is a new one. And her songs. And... Dude. Jake hooked me up with your P.O. box so now you don't so now you can't hide from your old crew anymore. I know you took off I know you took off from the hospital and I'm glad you're still going down to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. I hope you finally get back home. Of course I'm not ready to settle yet, so we're all hanging out in Colorado. The idea is trying to get as far away from the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. I miss you. I would love to take a road trip out of this shithole and it would be great to swim with you again. So you better let me know when you hit Mexico, Sean. Don't make me track you down. I'll even give you my number, so I'm sure we're going to call her at some point. Anything else? We have a letter from Jacob. Who, if you didn't see it in the last one, was kind of how we met up with our mum because he contacted her. After... I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. After Daniel was in trouble and got taken in by that cult. So, hey Sean, sorry I didn't write to you sooner, but this is the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother, I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We'll figure it out later. Thanks to my old savings account, I got Sarah Lee antibiotics, so she's been feeling better and... So she's been feeling better pretty fast. Kids are like superhumans, especially ours. 
The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You're lucky to have each other, and when you both came our way, we were blessed. I'm trying to track down our Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody's okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jacob. What was the other... Uh, we had two things there. What's this one? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Hope you are good and happy. I feel so much better now. It took forever before we found a place to live, but we finally did. I love this cold weather way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends. Love from Sarah Lee. Uh, yeah, I think she had, was it pneumonia, I think, uh, she had, but because they were religious, she was like, oh, we'll, uh, we'll manage. Looks like they all finally found their home. The power of the Lord will heal her rather than having medicine. So then, not only did we save... Karen looks so young and agile in this picture. from the cult, but we also had to, like, hmm. save her and reunite her with... Hard uh, times. Back with Jacob, so that was all cool. I'm glad that worked out. Take the USB key. One of these poems. She's really good at... Rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Well, there you go. Very lovely stuff. So I guess we can put this USB in this laptop and see if that does anything. I don't know why these things are loading so slow right now. Math homework, movies and stuff, drawings, other crap, pictures, misty mice tickets stop PDF. Uh, we can't even look at the rest of these. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. Ah, there we go. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. You look so gangster. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. So use and check do the same thing. What's the point in that? Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. Let's look at our objectives. There isn't one. Okay, I'm super confused. Like, what are we going to be doing right now? Okay, let's go back out and see if uh, it triggers something. There we go. I have to admit, I do miss west weather sometimes. Yeah. What's going on bad. with this game right now? You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid. Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, 
Can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> well, you can see where this is going, can't you? Hola. Hola, compadre. She's going to, like, leave them again. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Kind of so far pretty tame, pretty lame, like nothing really much going on. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. I mean, if you compare it to the fifth episode of the first game, which I don't want to say what happened because it's kind of like spoilery, like very spoilery, but there was like stuff happening. The the stakes were high. It was like, oh shit, what the fuck's going to happen? And this one is just like we're walking around a creek. desert and it's been like an hour and nothing's happened. So it was so perfect. Yeah. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. I don't know, because this is even like a new area. This is just like where we were uh, in the first part, so. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! Uh-oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. Anyway, let's, let's just carry on and uh, kind of see where it goes. I don't want to, like, shit on it already, but... Yeah, hopefully something will happen this time. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. Because why else would she be taking us up here? Like, what? Unless down. you've got like a massive secret, like I'm not your real dad or mum, rather. Okay, how about that for a twist? I, 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 I'm actually your dad. And Esteban used to be your mum. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. So. Now that you know what's better, do you kind of regret leaving and everything? I made a decision to never have regrets. Although, you two would be the best reason. So that's a no. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. Okay, so I guess it was kind of like agreed that she would help them out, but she wouldn't go with them. By the way, um, 
if you wanted to, you could come with us. To Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. So she's like trying to save her own ass and cut us loose and... Well... Move us on as quick as possible, basically. Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. What are them things? Oh, lanterns. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Okay, that'll do it for part two, and uh, hopefully in part three we'll actually get on our journey and uh, leave away and kind of do some cooler stuff after they've wasted our first hour with uh, just nothing. So yeah, hopefully next time it kind of picks up and we actually kind of get some direction and something actually happening. But, you know, uh, I can only work with what I'm given, and so <laughs> that was it. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, uh, stay awesome, and join me next time where hopefully it kind of ramps up a bit and we kind of get some more stakes and some actual action so uh yeah thanks for watching still awesome i'll see you guys next time thanks a lot guys